Welcome to hell. It gets cold, it gets warm, it gets wild, it gets frozen, and most of all, it's different. If you're hearing this for the very first time, it's the International Aviation Call Sign for Helsinki Airport. Now, before coming here, I did a lot of research on videos and articles and everything about Helsinki and one of them that captivated my eyes was the documentary done on the Helsinki airport about a Chinese actor who actually lives within the airport for one month and I tell you it's so amazing from the preparation of him coming it's like he's in the freezer and then he tries to go and shop around it's just so amazing like what's the need of me referring you to go and watch the, uh, the documentary if i tell you the whole story right from that some of the things one another video that helped me a lot to decide whether i wanted to come to her finland or not were videos done by olivia and this is one amazing nigerian woman who has done a lot of articles materials and videos about finland and that is someone i would say that really really helped like ground my choices and also i made another video by alice Houghton um on her platform as well these are just researches i was doing while in kenya and it's like people i have met so amazing people and i'm sure that the information they have shared are right to 100% now that I've lived here for two years. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nelly and I do videos about health, motherhood and lifestyle and basically everything around it. So dive in with me, take a seat, sip a glass. We're going to talk about my integration journey and what integration really is here in Finland. Very first time we arrived in Finland, of course, after getting our residence permit from my country of residence, which was in Kenya, I'm a Kenyan by nationality. So immediately we landed here, we had to go to Maestrati, which is the municipal council. And we registered there with them, um, just informing them that we have arrived and we where, where our address was and where basically your arrival and uh, your residence. After moving to Finland, that is where now you give them all the information. And if you see me looking on the side here now and then, uh, just to put this there, I'm filming and my son is just playing right next. What did next is I applied for my ID card. Two ID cards here are applied differently. So here, for example, you go to the police station and before going to the police station, actually you have to go and take the passport photo, which is charged. So make sure you have enough money to go and take the passport photo. And then after taking the passport photo, they give you a code and that code you take to the police and the police are able to make the application and after all that application, you're able to have a waiting period and then go pick up your ID. Another option is you can as well opt to do it online, but using the code that you have been given by the person who took your passport photo. So and after all that application, you're able to have a waiting period and then go pick up your ID. Until you activate your registration with Keller, you need an active health insurance cover to cover you for just in case you get sick, or any other things that insurance company uh, covers covers you on. Keller basically is the social security insurance cover here in Finland. So before activation of, of our social security numbers here in Finland by Keller, we had to still be using our insurance cover from our country of origin, which was in Kenya. In the meantime, before getting our social security um, numbers activated here by Kela. After activating that, I had to integrate my children into the society. So that included finding them daycare places, healthcare services, and everything like that. But that was the start of my integration process because integrating my children also enabled me to learn some of the Finnish way of life and other things that things do. My first year basically was learning the new things and there were a lot of new things. There was the beauty of summer, for example. And then there was winter and then there was fall and then all the seasons. Yes, there were a lot of shocking things as well when it comes to the transport and infrastructure, the culture and everything around it. So Finland was totally a different place from how we live, for example. I came from a place where everything is warm and wild and then I came to this place where everything is warm and kind of in between wild and you know like wild wild and laid back so this was more of like a laid back kind of like you know it was like a take a chill feel like take a chill 
the first year was just learning and getting shocked and getting mind blown and just a lot of things were happening. Second year, I was then introduced to the city office by one of my amazing relatives. The relatives played the most important role from visiting and helping me with different information on where to get things, where to get services and stuff like that. They will cook sometimes because like, I don't know, they were just the best ever. And if you guys are watching me right now, I love and adore all of you, like, just so much. Like, if you have any connects in Finland, better use them because your first step to integration is the people you already know. Like, this I went and registered. Now, what the tea office does is they give you a social or a case worker for you who's going to help you write your own plan. The first stage for me, I had to go and give them all the materials they had from my previous country. So that means if you're coming to Finland for the very first time or you're here, the educational background you have from your country can actually be used to help you bridge the gap between unemployment also and finding a job or finding you a suitable study place while you start your life here in Finland. So after I gave all my documents and we did the initial assessment, that is now where you give all your paperwork and stuff like that, then they helped me lay down a plan. And then laying down a plan is now where we discussed about what I'm going to do first, after what, after doing the first step, what am I going to do second, after the second, I'm going to do the third. Good thing with the unemployment office the t office is that they actually facilitate your process and they you have someone you can always call on to uh, when you need any help so for me this was like kind of like a, a first contact person you have you know when you're in a new country you don't know how things work you don't know where to get different services so having someone you can consult when it comes to education and career was something so important and just knowing that the government is there to provide help you find a job and help you find a school was just uh, so amazing for me my integration plan what we talked about was the fact that i needed to learn the language which was actually my first basic basic need Majority of the people understand English, but the main language spoken here is Finnish, Swedish, and the other language which is spoken by a less number of people in Finland. The assessment with the T office official, they helped me find the school. Three months later, after this assessment, I got into my first language training. I was given this book, which is this Oma Somi Uxi. And in Oma Somi Uxi, basically, what we were taught is the Finnish culture, different conversations about people, how do you call different foods, how do you call a calf, just basic, 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 the alphabets, just the most basic Finnish language. After that, we're given time, which this is something I really do admire about the Finnish integration process. We're given time to do Haritelu, and Haritelu is basically where you go and practice the skills that you have learned from school. So in this place, it was the language skills that you have learned from school. You go and practice them at the work environment. My first work contact in Finland, of course, like I showed you guys before, during last winter was in a daycare. I really enjoyed the process. And I would say from that, I created my very first professional connect or contacts in Finland. If you're ever thinking of I've arrived in Finland, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to connect with professionals. I don't know how to do anything. I would say put yourself in a language training. You're going to meet people. You're going to have your first contacts as your classmates. And then after finishing that, when you go for Harui Telu, where you practice your language at workplace, you're going to meet your second connection onto the work environment as your workmates or even the person who's your supervisor after finishing the first training we went for a break of about a month and we went back to school uh going back to school this was now a different other institution my first training institution was axel and this time i was taken to Careria plus mm. in Careria plus we're given a book and this is the book and basically all of these trainings they give you exercise book and a textbook to learn from so it's the book that we were given and in this book we were expected to take the textbook back so i thought to myself i always love materials that i can always go back to there's something about something of your own so i could afford it i went ahead and bought my own uh but the rest were given and you have to take it back so i bought my own copy which i still do have for the sake of this video as well right here and this book we learned about the professional life in finland 
where to find professions, different professions, what those professions entails. Basically, it was just a digestion of every career and what it entails. Much as all careers are not listed here, but some of them are, but it opens up a room for discussion. So this training was finished. Then we ended up going for Harry Telu again. In Harry Telu, this time round, I chose to go to Van Hakoti. In Van Hakoti, I made again another amazing work contact made amazing friends there and i think those are some of the contacts again that you take into the future so i would say in my second heritage place in the van hakoti i had the most amazing time i got to interact with the old people and um they were like i feel like in that home are different professions sitting there and just waiting for you to take all the information that you need from them of course those were able to talk very well and they would share with you information and they're so most of them were so understanding like they would try and explain to you things the culture their work and everything like that it was just something so nice to learn about that it was also for me in a way advancement of what i had learned in school and again there i found amazing contacts that i'm looking forward to using into my future as I start working or after I finish my education. There is, there is a way I'm trying to detail for you that um, Harry tell you let stage for me is because I feel like these places, they gave me information much more than I could have even gotten in a classroom. Like these are places where I got the real experience of work. In class, I was taught it's like the theory part. In this area, places you get to apply and even meet people who are in places where you aspire to be in. So for me, that's some of some important places that I would say if you are struggling to find a connection in Finland or if you're struggling to find a place to link yourself with professionals and stuff like that. One, you can always volunteer. Or two, do such courses as language trainings. And once you're done with the language training, volunteer in a place to practice your language speaking skills as well as meet and connect with other people. So today, speaking to you guys, I can confirm to you that these two trainings I have done and passed. Some of the things I would like to tell you is if you come to Finland, it gets strange and weird in a hard way in a nice way but also in a different way it's different it's different from where i come from it's different from probably where you come from and of course these are people they have their own way of life and they have their own way of doing things so for me i would say once you have done the language try and also connect into professional social networks around for example linkedin facebook they also events organized like meetup for example and stuff like that research on events that happen around you or people with uh, groups that talk about the topics that you're interested in and this way you're able yeah, to this way you're able to meet up with these kind of expatriates, connect with them, exchange contacts. These are the same same people who will help you find jobs in Finland. Having your contacts here and some people who can just refer you and direct you to employment places and give you good contacts can really help you start up easily. Try and talk to immigrants who have moved into the country or foreigners who are in the same country you're living in who have also come from different other places because these are people who also give you ideas on how they made it, things that they tried that did not work for them, things that they tried and worked out for them, things they wish they knew before moving into the country. So for me, I would say, if you know people who have been in the country where you're moving into, have a call with them, talk with them, ask them if there are things that they wish to do differently, which ones that they, like try and make this go as your books, the books that you can first read because they are talking to you from their own experiences. No, no. I think I've come to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, leave me a comment down below, like and subscribe. Remember to share with your friends because they might find this information really useful to them if you have any comments please leave them down below for me i'd be more than willing to check them out and give you a feedback most of you have been asking me on ways you can support my platform so find it down below on the description section um and until the next one i can't wait to see you again and i love you so very much Mwah.